um, like I promised in the last video, this will be like a okay, end of the week recap of the four videos that I uploaded this week. It'll be a quick little compilation here. It'll be like about 30 minutes. So I don't know. I'm in the process. Holy cow! Just let me know. But thank you so no, much. I don't know if it's going to be under. It is. I will. It's definitely over. Power. But you never actually see the videos. Hello guys, welcome back. And I know everyone here is for is highly up for I don't know why I keep summoning that guy. Highly up for underrated overpowered weapons. And boy have I find I don't know. Redo that. <laughs> boy have I found the weapon for you. This is the pristine fury. And now just look at this damage here from all the way over here, let's say. Boom. But this is insane damage. And I don't even know when you get this weapon. Like, how do I even get this? That might be a yarn drop. There's only one way to test its true damage. And this is to verse the devour of God. So, let's actually do that. But I think it's done it beats him. Ah, uh, wait, I have my music on. Well, now my own music just kicked in, but I did not re- How did I not realize I had my music on that whole time? Am I in COD mode? Disable. I gotta see, can I take damage? Let us disable it. Now I should be able to take damage. Well, this weapon is really overpowered. I should be able to take damage. I don't know why I'm not. Okay, there we go. Holy cow, is this weapon over? I don't know if it's particularly underrated, but it's definitely overpowered. Like, I've never actually seen someone use this range weapon. And I know myself, I probably wouldn't either, but I didn't know what it did. But if you know what this weapon does, so if you see this video and you're a ranger class area, then I think you just found the best weapon. So go on the wiki. I might link it in the description. And just see how you get this. It costs gel, but at this point you have so much gel in the game that it doesn't really matter. That it costs gel. All that really matters is that we're about to beat the devourer of gods here. Okay, let's get the adrenaline and finish him off there. Wow, that was quick. Wow. Okay, that literally shredded the devourer of gods. I'm gonna quickly sell this cosmolite. Just I don't know why I just said this is my fault. Get out. I don't know what is my fault. But anyways, alright. Now let's head to the jungle here. Um, okay, that took a bit a lot. That took a lot longer than I expected, but we made it here. And now let us use the blessed Phoenix egg here, and let's begin to fight yarn. This weapon, I could see being the, one of the, the first weapon that we've covered on the channel to be yarn. And maybe not. I guess we'll just have to find out here. Unfair to not just do not have enough for yarn, but it is what it is. I'm still hitting yarn a lot. This is doing better than some of the game weapons I've tried on yarn. 
Oh, we got the adrenaline. Well, it was close, but it almost made it to second phase. Now, that's the best we've seen in a weapon so far. Man. I'm just trying to do a weapon review. Can you know, like... I think the problem with this weapon is it doesn't look like it has much pierce, but it kind of makes up for it. Like, having, like, infinite damage and all that. But, like, anyways, with all that said and done... Let me disable these spawn rates. Jeez, why did I turn them up so much? Alright, now let's make it night. I'm gonna use the moon thing and Jesus. Let me deposit all this stuff. Okay, now things are starting to pile up in the rage here. Here we go, the infinite rage cycle has begun. As I think things hit me before they get to me. The thing is, this does not have guiding, so I can only like fly around. But besides that, we are doing really, really, really good damage here. We are already on the 15th wave. Now, you know, I want to try and launch the wave, but for some reason, we're getting, we're getting a lot shorter. But, and look at this. This weapon is doing so good against the pumpkin moon. Alright. Handling the frost moon is actually better than the pumpkin moon. Something that you don't normally see in a weapon on the channel, especially from the weapon we that we do cover. They never really do better against the frost moon because the frost moon is a lot harder on the event. So, yeah, this is actually doing very well. And yeah, look, we got to the point thanks to all these dang folk copters. That our rage is off the screen, but all right, let us make it. Get out of here! Let's deposit all this now. Would I say this weapon's worth it? If you have a lot of jail to spare, then of course it is. And even if you don't have a lot of jail to spare, I would still say it's very worth it. I am very excited to cover it. And let's get some super gummies down here and cut up the damage. And of course, now I have to take off the demon. Whatever it's called. I mean, that was fun, it's okay. Um, but this will be a good time to test out the damage of it. So 
we're gonna be selecting this this thing here. There we go. And again, this is super dumb because we're doing about 4,000 damage. Jeez, why is this so loud? We're dealing about 30,000 damage, and with that, so it looks like that max you're dealing is like 40,000 damage. Now that is not bad. But we'll have to see how this does against. You know what? Let's should we start with yarn or should we, let's just do copper? Right here. And finally, oh, no, finally, no, I did not actually get my whip. The suck of the game, but anyways, this could definitely do better. So let me grab my whip and why am I missing some arms? Um, I don't want to get out of here. So let's get the uh, whip. Kaleidoscope. How do you see kaleidoscope? actually doing very well. I mean, it's really demolishing the death mode uh, of the Devourer of Gods here. Wait, are you guys controlled by me? Also, is he going out of portal or is, like, is he coming back? There he is. Right, are they, like, no, they are not controlled by me when somebody is here. And that was a waste of the adrenaline. I'm not gonna question that. Jeez, he just took so much damage. I'm gonna look at some damage to this guy again. He looks like a bigger target, we're actually still on the computer than him. So that's actually like a disadvantage on his part. So. Uh, anyways, as you can see, the laser I feel like is our most powerful one here, so. What if throwing this? Let's throw this down. God. But actually, I want to try something here. So I'm going to change this around here. So I'm going to throw this down. Oh, I mean, I said yeah. And I'm going to make them all laser. Let's test out our damage now by the four lasers. So with four lasers, we get the super dummy. And against one super dummy, we're only doing about twenty thousand. Now, if I were to X this all out and get one of the bombs, how much is that? About twenty thousand. How about? And what if I get the lightning one? Also, I think it seems like they're all they're actually stronger together. Which, yeah, I I guess that is actually better. Well, that's good. So let's quickly head over to the jungle here. Flying cloud. And the um, flying cloud here. We're going to make our way to the jungle. It is quite a ways away. But... Alright, we are almost there now. I gotta make like a portal or teleport thing there. But anyways, there we are here. 
you know, and now let's fight Yarn. Because I think this could definitely be Yarn, but... Um, I mean, I just suck at the game, so it's not able to be the power. But I think it should be able to be Yarn, right? Because Yarn, in my eyes, is definitely easier than the power of It's just technically a harder boss into the game. Which makes sense. It deals a lot more damage, but... I'm saying that it's probably just build an arena. Do you have uh, is the arena on me? Do I? Uh, I don't know if I have an arena on me. Let me just check the next video. Because next video, then I'll just make the arena. Um, doesn't seem like I have the insta arena. I can't speak English. The insta arena. Am I have one lying around? That's weird. I feel like I had it on me. Oh, I still have a contaminator on me, so that's fine. Anyways, let's get all these things back here. I don't know why they disappear on death. They change order, apparently. That's weird. Well, now they're in a weird order, but you know, whatever it gets me all along. Since this is a summer, will this work from in here if I do like this? Looks like it, so let's do the concrete laser and up here. And holy cow! Holy, this is really demolishing it. I think if I just like do my whip to hit the bigger targets like pumpkin. And if I activate rage, you can do even more damage. And geez, I think I just don't even need to like use the whip. I think I'm just doing the forest. And holy was that a crazy start to an event. I think that's the quickest I've actually ever seen the event die that quickly. But I don't think there's much else to see there. It kind of demolished that. Well, let's go on to something I want to see here. And the solar tablet. It's night time. Okay, let's do the naughty present. Look, we're already on wave 6. Like, geez. Okay, wave 10, wave 11. Wait, we're on wave 11 out of 20. Already. If I gotta deposit all this stuff, I'm gonna lag out like, my game. Where did I get my cursor? There. Okay, let's just deposit. Okay, there we go. Let's get down back down here and see how much damage we're doing. Look at our DPS. We are in the hundreds of like 300, 200,000 damage. This is like, these are really going strong. These are, like, this is probably the best power control weapon we've ever seen on the channel. Alright, let's just do the third event, because you know what, why not? And let's do the super tablet. Because, you know, why not? Let's see how many, how easily this deals with the solar event. The solar event is easier, you can say, but this is a lot harder enemies when you get to the later into the little Mothrons, but this is just dealing like it, dealing with it with ease, so I don't think there's much else to show for the, uh, solar eclipse. Let's just deposit all this stuff. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, would I recommend this weapon? Of course I would, if you have the extra time as a summoner to get it. Especially if you need to grind for any, like, new with the relating events. Then, yes, this is definitely the weapon for use. I mean, I don't know if non summoners could use this. Maybe it's probably good for it. It's definitely good for aesthetics. I don't want to be a grave. So I hope you enjoyed.
enjoyed the video. If you did, I think you know what to do. And I will see you next time. Dark Sphere. Dark Spark. This is basically an upgraded version of the last prism. And we'll see how good it is. And I think if I'm correct, it should be getting better like the longer I hold it out here. Yes, it is. Now it's at like max power. Let's like stand right over here. Let's go on my mana back. Let's have me stand right over these three on this side. And let's see how much damage we do now. 14,000. Oh wow, yeah, we're doing a lot more damage. Yeah, now we're seeing this button visual potential here. Alright. Now that we saw that, let us fight Stormweaver. Because this is like on second time recording this, and I saw it could definitely not beat the Devourer of Gods. So we're gonna go up against Stormweaver. Like, you let me hit me. But you let me hit me. Okay, Stormweaver. That'd be pretty good. Thanks. Right. So, seems like it's doing too damage. I think we need to get our mana back here. Let me give it a second. Let's get the mana back. And the problem with Mage Ovens is that I do not have a lot of mana. Oh well, I have no way to get the mana back. But here we are doing. Like, why is there doing zero damage? Like, we should be doing loads of damage to this guy. Right. Now. This weapon's even underperforming to beat this guy. Let's go up against Providence. This weapon is really underperforming. I thought it would be better. Like, it's a cool looking weapon. But it's really not performing very well. Let's head to the underworld here. And here we're gonna fight Providence. We are going to be fighting for Avenance here. So let's see. Here we're going to be fighting around the underworld. Let's see how good this weapon can actually do. Because like, I want to see how good it can do. It's definitely going to do good in the um, event test. But that's the thing. It's only good at group attacks. So I would definitely not say worth it. The recipe is kind of expensive. I mean. Wow, this weapon. Can't beat a singular boss. Not even Providence. This is like a poltergeist class weapon. Alright. Well, this is highly disappointing, but let's just get in lava. Burn real quick, because this cannot even beat Providence. It's kind of crazy. There's no way Providence has not killed me yet. Alright. No way. Bro, how has she not killed me yet? Alright. So, this weapon is actually really underwhelming. So far. Especially with the last weapon we looked at. I don't remember what it was called, but... The last weapon we looked at was really, really powerful. But... Now we're doing the event test, and hopefully it's different, but you'd think one of the prison weapons would be good against area of that area of the thing, so I guess we'll find out. I mean, yes, we are. Now that we have basically infinite mana, this weapon is shredding the event. And I'm actually in colors. Here. Holy cow. Alright. Here's where I think the damage really comes in. But I just don't have a mage set up. So I really cannot use the weapon to its fullest. But I really gotta start like, killing some more stuff. Because like I need a lot of mana. And if I don't have a lot of mana to do this. Then I cannot really keep this up. So... But what I'm seeing so far is this weapon is actually really trash against bosses because like it takes so long to get enough 
get up to this rank, but it's gonna be like five mana bars, and you use so many mana bars just getting here. Look, I literally somehow ran out of mana in an event, instantly killing a bunch of stuff. So yeah, there's not much to really show on this weapon. I thought it was gonna be a lot stronger, but it is not. Well, would I say this weapon's worth it? No, it's not worth it. Do not craft it to waste your money. Not money, but like, you know what I mean if you're gonna like reforge and stuff. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I said it like that. Thank you so much for watching, and um, yeah, see you next time. Later than normal. But anyways, I guess something special about this. I like scoured the internet for like. There we go. Sorry about that. Anyways, here it is. The Rainbow Party Cannon. Now, I looked on, like, Reddit and stuff for, like, a couple minutes, and I found this weapon. And I searched the wikis and everything. This weapon is really hard to make, but let's test the damage. And, let's see. It only shoots straight. Alright. Holy cow. That uses a lot of mana. Let's see. Do I have like a mana grow back like mana flower mana something? Or is it like jungle? Well, I cannot use that but so this might be a bit worse than normal. But let's just test this out. I cannot expect this weapon to do bad. I know y'all were like flaming me in the comments about yes about yesterday's video with the dark prism. That video actually did a lot better than I expected it to. Especially with the thumbnail I gave it. And like and the title, which this weapon's awful, but I guess that is quite attracting views. And holy cow, this weapon is not awful. Okay. This weapon is honestly one of this is again one of the best weapons we've seen on the channel so far i mean it is a end game weapon but still look at this i feel like i can finish off the boss fight like right then let's see if i activate rage i think we can finish it off right here all right but all right that is a very good W. Nice. Okay, this weapon is promising, and I think this will probably be able to kill Yarn. If this could kill Yarn, and it might be the first weapon we've seen on the channel to actually defeat Yarn and move on to Dreon, which would honestly be really, really, really good, I'd say. Um, if you're wondering, my world's, like, getting this whole desert thing. I put some corruption here, and I don't know why this is weird. And all the calamity stuff is, like, weird. But, anyways, let's head to jungle. Get out of here. I'm guessing this is, like, the final major weapon you want to use. Is this Rainbow Party Cannon, or I'm guessing it's the Dance of Light? I covered that. Check it out. It should be in my Is This Weapon Worth It playlist. And also, if you're wondering, I'm probably I put every single video I ever I uploaded past a certain point in the games playlist. So if you want to just binge my channel, then you said game playlist. You might see some cringe videos in there, but a lot of my videos will be in there. Also, I would not recommend checking out my first video. That was like two years ago. Um, I did not have a frequent upload schedule. I mean, I still really don't, but. I'm at least trying to keep the weekday uploads. I don't know why I do this. I guess I take my breaks on the weekend because daily uploads, man, are really difficult to keep up. But so is it to aim this weapon. I like that transition, but anyway, aiming this weapon is the real difficult part. With like 
The Devourer are target targets. They're really massive targets that are pretty easy to aim. Like, that are staying still. But, like, the Yarn? Yarn, like, never stays still. So. That's why I can't see this weapon beating Dreon. Because the bosses in Dreon don't stay still. I mean, I, I can see it beating the Worm one, but not any of the other ones. I don't currently have the Supreme Calamitous Rune thing on me. But let me just spawn Supreme Cal, Cal here. And just see what happens. Alright. So, this is actually be the first weapon I think is worthy to fight Supreme Cal. Probably the mech, too. The mech's also definitely worthy, but... You know, that video already passed, so... so I didn't think about it. Alright, now I gotta blow up these ones. And dealing with these guys really good. If wondering what I used, I used Summoner, not Mage. Anyways, you can't even use this weapon to beat Supreme Cal because, you know, this is an endgame weapon. You need to beat Supreme Cal to use it. I feel like this weapon would be a lot better if it could guide. And also, if you're probably wondering why I'm so bad at, like, firing using weapons and all that, and dodging, of course, but, like, because I use Summoner, and I know. Yeah, I'll still have to work hard for this video victory. I could probably beat you instantly. Summoner, but... Anyways, let's crank up the spawn rates here. Let's do 30 here, because I think this weapon deserves it. Why is the Supreme Climate NPC over there? Holy cow, is lagging my game. Get the Supreme Cow NPC right there, and let's start the Pumpkin Moon. Uh, I think it's the best time to try the solar event, but it's actually like a normal, like the pumpkin moon and stuff. Okay. Whew. Okay, this is clearing out the lag very quickly. This is dealing with a buffed solar eclipse actually very well, and I thought it would. I think we should just aim down. I expected this. But what I really want to see is the pumpkin thing. Oh, get rid of spawn rates for a second while I deposit all this. Cheese. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Honestly, you know what? Let's just try. 30 times spawn rates. Pumpkin moon. Alright, we gotta start clearing your stuff out quickly. Alright, we're already on wave 11. Alright, this weapon. Talk about good weapons. This is probably the best weapon I think I've seen, we've seen on the channel. I know I say that like every video. But seriously. This might just be the best weapon we've actually seen on the channel. Look at this! Okay, I'm gonna... That's the solar code. All right, now it's night time, let me deposit all this stuff. Let's check out the frost moon, because the frost moon is even more crowded. Alright, let us... Moon. And let's get ready to see how good this weapon truly is. And off the bat, I can already see this weapon is really strong. Because we're already on wave 15 here. Let's activate Rage. Nothing's actually being giving me damage because it's just killing everything. Wow. I think we found the strongest weapon in the whole Terraria. Oh, am I am I glad I looked for this, huh? And wait, I have a good idea here. Let me end this way because I'm ooh, lagging my computer. I have an idea. I have. Everybody knows on the channel, right? I have a lot of nightmare fuel. 
like a whole bunch of people. So what if I get this much? In order to sell it. Um let's see. Honestly, sure, yeah, that's a good boost. And, uh, sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to do this on camera, but what is it? It's storage. It's the... This one. I gotta add some terra storages uh, so we can have more items. <laughs> sorry guys, man. I grind for the weapons. I should make a video where I grind for them on camera. But I cannot grind for this. This is a this would be a really really long grind. Um, that should be fine. Now let's trash that. And I'm just gonna add two things here, which will be a storage crafter. I'm not using a creative. Storage. That's just cheap. Let's. I mean, I'm not one to be talking, but let's add the crafter like over here. I think I could just like, if I have all the items in there, I could just click here and look up like Rainbow Torch, and I could craft it. All right, no. Actually, I don't want that. It's kind of useless. Oh my God! Let me lower these spawn rates. How much storage do I have now? 9,000 items, okay. That's a lot better. But would I say this worth the weapon was worth it? Yes, of course I would, and I'll be making a compilation for the Friday video. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time in that hour-ish video for the like, compilation. And make sure you have a wonderful weekend. And rest of your week.